A lot of people, there are two events that just happened as I came from Walmart. The first one, I went to Walmart and uh, I, I was pushing my card and uh, I was in the fruit area, tomato, avocado and all that. And as I pushed my car on the side to take the tomato and, and avocado and all that, I saw an African guy with his wife, I guess, or his sister, I don't know, a woman and a man. They came near where I was getting my stuff, so I just mind my own business. And suddenly, when I, I took the, the avocado and tomato, I went to my cart. I saw that this man has eaten an apple. Get this way. He has eaten an apple that he took from Walmart, I guess, which he shouldn't do. And the remaining of the apple, he just left it in my cart. So when I went to my car and I saw it, I, I called him. I said, excuse me, because he wasn't even far from me. I said, excuse me, did you leave this thing here? He said, huh? I said, yeah, did you, did you leave this thing here? And he said, oh, yeah. And then he, I said, is this is my car, man. And then he took it. He said, man, that might be older than me, maybe 10 years old, I don't know. But he's older than me, the way he looked like. So he took the apple away. And I was thinking, I said, so... How come, out of all, all places, this guy can leave the apple? He come and leave it in my car, the wrong place. Okay, you must say I'm exaggerating. You can say that. But, but me, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm a spiritual, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a spiritual warfare trained. I'm trained in spiritual warfare. So, when he left, I thought about it. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I climb up. How many of you know what it means to climb up? I jump up and I climb up. Roman so sekata. The man of the room kasuma so so. Make a bus sekere ma muson tekere ma. And I pray and I return to say that any kind of witchcraft and all that. Ah, you say you are such a little bit. This is a story, a true story in Africa. Going to school, elementary school, the guy dropped a paper a money, a paper money on the floor and asked the boy to pick it up for him. He just passing by. The boy passed by, they don't know each other. The boy said, No, I don't know you. Why you drop the money and you want me to pick it up? The guy said, Come on, be, be a nice boy, come and pick me up. The boy refused. And the guy was insisting on the road. The, 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 the boy pick up the money for him and somebody passing by saw it. And the person said, wait a minute, what is going on here? And then the boy told the, 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 the it's a lady who was passing by. The boy told the lady the story that he's insisting that I pick up this money. Immediately, the lady picked it up. That is witchcraft. So the lady screamed and people came by. You know, Africa, if you scream, people will come. People came and said what's happening and they told them the story. And the people say, Mr. Man, you need to pick up that money right now. The guy refused to pick up the money. They start beating him up, beating him up. Until he pick up the money, they beat him up so much, he start getting hurt. And he pick up the money, he became crazy. He lost his mind. He removed his clothes. Right there, right there. Did you hear what I said? I said right there, the guy, the guy be, became crazy. He, he lost his mind right there. So he bewitched the money. That if the boy had picked it up, the boy will have uh, become some witchcraft thing for him to make money or whatever. Ah. So I pray, right? I buy everything or whatever. But as I was praying, I noticed that when I called the man, yes, yeah, please. You must say I'm exaggerating, but I'm happy to exaggerate rather than to be neglectful and cut something back. So as I was praying in the store, because after he put up the, 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 the apple, he left him in the car. And then he went his way. As I was in the store, he said, I'm sorry, I'm not going to go. He got on me now. When I called him to come and pick up the apple, there was this look of surprise on his face. Did you hear what I said? There was this look of surprise like, how come he's so bold to come and tell me all? How come he even saw me? He didn't just throw it away somewhere or just keep going or whatever. 
I analyze it and I pray more. I plant the money for six more. People, this world is more spiritual than physical. You know that? You have a spirit, you have a soul, and you have a body. This, that's who you are, like me. I'm those three. But how many is visible? Only one is visible. One out of three is visible. The other two are spiritual. You can see them. So two thirds of me is spiritual being. Only one third you can see in my body. Hey, you have to be spiritual. That's the, the first thing. The second event, there is this lady in Walmart. She's an older lady. A seasoned lady, as you say, not negatively. She's an older lady and now. She's a cleaner. So I still wear my mask every time I go to Walmart, okay? I still wear my mask every time I go to Walmart. Although I've taken all the six COVID-19 vaccine. I've taken all the six of them. But every time I go out, I still wear my mask. Why? Because COVID-19 is not finished. People are catching COVID-19 every single day. Every week, they report that a thousand people are catching COVID-19 every week in the U.S. A thousand. You say that's not much. But after a month, that's 4,000. After two months, that's 8,000. And when do you know you're going to be the one to catch it? So I still wear my mask. And this lady, who is a greeter in Walmart, she she wear her mask too all the time. Anytime I go there, she wear her mask. So one time I talk to her and I say, hey, it seems like only you and I are still wearing the mask this day. And we laugh about it. So she's there and she knew me and I know her. So anytime I come, I say hello, mama, and all that. So today, as I bought my stuff when I was leaving Walmart, she was at, at the gate, right? So I show her my receipt and I say, hello, mama, are you doing and everything? And then I say, mama, do you know that COVID-19 is increasing? But people don't know it. She said, yeah, I know. And I said, do you know that the sign a bigger virus is coming, a more dangerous virus is coming? She said, yeah, I heard that. This is why I'm saying the second story. And she said, but you and I, we're not going to catch that. Ha, cha, 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 cha. Did you hear what I just said? The lady said, you and I, we're not going to catch that. Hey, no, 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 you see, you can, you can, you can hear this and pass by and say, yes, you just said something like that. The way she talk, she knew that I'm a born again Christian. Ah, I'm telling you, I, I never knew before that she said Christian. I just greet her as a lady woman. We never say anything about religion. But somehow, when I told her that there is a bigger virus coming, they predicted it. She said, but you and I, we're not going to catch that. Hey, I, I thought about it for a minute. I said, you can say that maybe because we wear a mask. No? Because many people wear masks, but they caught, they caught COVID before. Many people were vaccinated, but they still catch, catch COVID. But somehow, this lady said, you and I, we're not going to catch that. Hey! I fell in the spirit and I said, hey, God, is you talking to me that you will protect me? Whatever the bigger virus will be, whatever the more dangerous virus will be, I'm not going to catch it. And you send somebody out of all places, Walmart, I'm not saying Walmart is a bad place or a negative place, out of a place I wasn't expecting you to, to encourage me, you send somebody from there to say, and this person, I've never discussed religion or anything with that person. Hey, people, I thank God for what you're doing in my life. You hear that? I thank God for what you're doing in my life. So those two elements, the virus is coming. It's predicted scientifically, and it's predicted uh, prophetically, too. Scientifically, they say there will be a bigger virus coming. The doctors, scientists have said that. And prophetically, prophet have prophesied that a bigger virus is coming. Here, so protect yourself. And the first experience that I mentioned about that African guy, or that guy who put the, the apple on, on my card, and it was out of all places he put it in my card. Wrong place. Wrong place. So I pray properly. Maybe he put a card there if the person touch it, if the person drag it around for a while, some, the person will catch something, that definitely is a liar. Or maybe he think he, he put it away that I wouldn't even see it until he leave. But the fact that I called him to come and pick it up, and he came and picked it up, that definitely is a liar. Mission is impossible. People, oh, God is so powerful. Father, in Jesus' name, I magnify your name for what you're doing in my life. 
for those some people might not understand it but i press you for your grace and power in my life continue to alert me let your spirit continue to be alive on the inside of me to alert me when i need to so i can protect myself so your power can work more in my life in jesus name amen all right bye bye